you are finally earning six figures or close to it. But every time you try to get ahead, another family need pops up. Your heart wants to help, but your goals, they're getting pushed further and further back. Let me be clear, you're not reckless. You're navigating something very real and rarely talked about. It's called the black tax. And in this video, I'll show you how to move forward and support your family with strategy, not just sacrifice. And if you wanna talk through what this looks like in your situation, let's schedule a strategy session using the link in the description. This isn't about guilt. This is about clarity, confidence, and catching up without burning out. Hey there, I'm Shahara Wooten, certified financial planner professional and founder of the Wealth Gap Closers Method. I help high achieving black women in STEM gain financial clarity so they can build wealth without feeling stretched thin. And for many of the members of my program and black women in STEM, there's one thing slowing them down, the unspoken expectation to financially support their extended family. You love your people, you want to help, but you're starting to wonder, what about me? You're not alone. A recent report shared that black households earning between $100,000 and $150,000 provide informal financial support at twice the rate of their white peers. That's not just generosity, that's a responsibility you carry on top of building your own future. So let's talk about how to navigate that reality with wisdom and not worry. Let's start with a truth. If you feel behind financially, it may not be because you're spending too much on brunch or shoes. It might be because you're financially supporting two generations at once. That's the heart of the black tax. It's not about poor choices. It's about legacy, survival, and being first in your family to do it differently, right? But here's what I want you to know. You can support your family and still build wealth. It just takes intention, boundaries, and a plan. So let's, let's break down six key strategies to help you do both. Number one, financial education and planning. So don't just give money, share knowledge. Support is more than cash. It's helping your family understand savings, investing, debt, and financial boundaries. You don't have to be the bank, be the blueprint. Number two, set aside funds intentionally. Create a separate account just for family support. Add to it consistently, maybe through an automatic transfer. This helps you give without derailing your savings or stressing over surprise requests. Number three, find a supportive community. You shouldn't have to carry this burden alone, so surround yourself with women who get it. This is why I created a space for black women in STEM to talk through these decisions without shame, because community creates courage. Number four, get a financial planner who gets it. Let's be real, generic advice doesn't work for us, right? You need a planner who understands not just the money, but the mission. Someone who sees your heart and helps protect your future. And yes, you can play me when you need to say no to a request. I tell people to do it all the time. Number five, decide when to say no. No doesn't mean you don't love them. It means you're protecting your progress. You may wanna write this one down. Boundaries are not betrayal. They're the bridge between who you are and who you're becoming. Number six, estate planning. We're not just building wealth, we're protecting it with an attorney to review your will or trust. And then you can also review your life insurance with appropriate professionals and update your beneficiaries. That way, when the time comes, your wishes are honored and your legacy lives on. Now imagine this, you're helping your family, but with peace, not pressure. You've got systems in place, your savings is growing, and your goals, they're finally in motion. This is the power of planning. So if you're ready to get clear and catch up without the guilt, I'd love to talk. Go ahead, book a strategy session using the link below, and then we'll walk through your current situation and your dreams. 
No pressure, just peace. If this video spoke to you in any way, hit that like button and subscribe. I release new content to help you build wealth without burnout. And in the comments, go ahead, tell me what's one area you want more peace in? Giving, savings, or saying no? I'd love to hear from you. Remember, it's not selfish to want peace. It's smart and you deserve it. See you in the next video, Wealth Gap Closers.